From unveiling the breathtaking leaked Adidas Newcastle Official 24, 25 home kit, to Newcastle United, doing the maths to sign 60 million euros star. To Newcastle eyeing surprise move for Barcelona star in January. To uncovering Eddie Howe's electrifying blueprint for Newcastle United's jaw-dropping January transfer window masterstroke. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss a single moment of this incredible journey. Let's go! Starting off, according to a report by 90 Minutes, Benjamin Sesko, the RB Leipzig forward, who has been a long-term target for Manchester United, is reportedly open to a move to the Premier League in January. Sesco has played a secondary role to Lois Openda for most of the season and is considering a transfer to another club in search of more playing time. The report suggests that Newcastle United has been closely monitoring Sesco's progress and may express firm interest when the transfer window opens next month. Sesco's representatives have allegedly informed several Premier League clubs, including Newcastle, that the player is ready to join an English team. There have been discussions of a potential loan deal with an obligation to buy in the summer, although Newcastle's chances of securing Sesco's signature will depend on meeting certain criteria. RB Leipzig acquired the forward for a fee of just £20 million last summer and would prefer to retain him, but they may be willing to let him go if they can generate a significant profit from the transfer. It remains to be seen whether Newcastle can fulfill the necessary conditions and outbid other potential suitors in the race to sign Sesco. The player's openness to a Premier League move and his desire for more playing time make him an attractive prospect for clubs seeking attacking reinforcements. Then, according to reports from the Portuguese media, Newcastle United's interest in sporting centre-back Gonzalo Inácio has once again been highlighted. Sporting Lisbon recently signed defender Rafael Silva from Lechões, and while the move was intended to strengthen the squad, it is seen by many as a potential precursor to Inacio's departure in the winter transfer window. Newspaper records suggests that Silva's arrival accelerates the likelihood of Gonzalo Inacio's transfer to the Premier League, with Newcastle being specifically mentioned. Although recent reports from the English media have indicated Liverpool's interest in the 22-year-old defender, Ebola suggests that Newcastle is leading the race for his signature. According to the report, Newcastle is actively pursuing the signing and is doing the maths to make a move for Inacio. Sporting Lisbon has set a release clause of 60 million euros to protect the player, and they have consistently stated that they won't allow him to leave for anything less than that amount. However, the figures involved are not expected to deter Premier League clubs from pursuing Inacio, even in the midst of the season. The situation is still fluid, and the competition for his signature may evolve in the coming weeks. Newcastle's reported interest indicates their intent to bolster their defensive options, and they appear to be actively pursuing Inacio's signing despite the potential financial hurdles involved. Furthermore, another defensive option being looked into is Andreas Christensen. According to transfer journalist Javier Parapena, Newcastle United is reportedly considering a surprising move for Barcelona's Andreas Christensen in the upcoming January transfer window. Newcastle manager Eddie Howe is said to be in search of a new centre-back to bolster the team's defensive options. The report suggests that Newcastle has a list of potential targets for the centre-back position, including Christensen from Barcelona and Goncalo Inacio from Sporting Lisbon. Newcastle's pursuit of a new centre-back has led them to consider Christensen, who joined Barcelona in 2022 after spending eight years at Chelsea. Since his arrival at Barcelona, the Danish international has made 50 appearances, contributing one goal and two assists. Injuries have been a challenge for Newcastle this season, affecting their ability to maintain their previous form. They have been eliminated from European competitions and currently sit in seventh place in the Premier League table, one point ahead of Manchester United and five points behind five TH-placed Manchester City. Eddie Howe has reportedly identified the defense and midfield as areas that need strengthening in the January transfer window to enhance their chances of securing a top-four finish. The potential signing of Andreas Christensen would provide Newcastle with additional defensive stability and depth in their squad. However, it's important to note that Eddie Howe, the manager of Newcastle United, has stated that he will not hastily pursue additions in the January transfer window solely due to the team's recent decline in form. 
Despite the Magpies' poor end to 2023, including a 3-1 home defeat against Nottingham Forest where former Newcastle striker Chris Wood scored a hat-trick, Howe remains cautious about making immediate changes. Throughout the season, Howe has faced significant injury woes, with several players still on the long-term absentee list. He has frequently expressed frustration over his inability to make alterations to both his starting lineup and the composition of his bench. Although the upcoming transfer window presents an opportunity to bring in reinforcements from outside the club, Howe is wary of making rash decisions. With Newcastle no longer involved in either the Champions League or the Carabao Cup for the remainder of the season, Howe plans to approach the January transfer window with caution. Speaking after the 1-0 defeat to Nottingham Forest, Eddie Howe said, January is a different month to what December was in terms of schedule, so we need to make sure we get the decisions right for the here and now, and also for the long-term planning of the squad. It's going to be a delicate one for us. My gut feeling is, the answer always lies within. The people and the players we have here, I think we're good enough. Of course, we've suffered the injuries that we have, and there are still players that aren't available. I don't think there's anyone coming back within the next few days, so it's really good that we had Jolinton return. He's been a massive miss for us, and we've still got players that are finding their fitness from playing matches, which is never ideal. We've not had it easy, and I think that needs to be acknowledged by me more than anybody else in my reflection of the team. The manager's stance suggests that he wants to carefully assess the team's needs and evaluate the impact of potential signings before making any moves. While Newcastle's recent struggles might indicate a need for reinforcements, Howe is taking a measured approach, considering the team's priorities and the existing injury situation before making any decisions in the transfer market. Then, in other Newcastle United news, according to leaked information from footy headlines, the official colors of the Adidas Newcastle 24, 25 home kit are reported to be white, black onyx. The kit is expected to feature a gray onyx Adidas branding, reminiscent of some of the club's kits from the 1980s. The design of the Adidas Newcastle 2024 to 25 home jersey is said to evoke memories of the team's shirts from the 1980s. Similar to the Umbro shirts worn during that era, the Adidas Newcastle United 2024 to 2025 home jersey will predominantly feature black and white stripes with the addition of gray accents. It is anticipated that the classic black and white stripes on the Newcastle United 2024 to 25 home jersey will be complemented by gray elements for the Adidas logo and other applications on the kit. This is claimed by footy headlines to be the possible look of Adidas's Newcastle United FC 2024-25 home football shirt. What are your thoughts on it? Then if you want to know the five things we learned in Newcastle United 1 Nottingham Forest 3, click the video on your screen now.